motorcycle, we were learning anatomy of thoracic wall and we were at muscles of the thoracic wall. Today we will learn intercostal muscles. In the intercostal spaces, there are found three groups of intercostal muscles and they are external intercostal muscles, internal intercostal muscles and innermost intercostal muscles. They all are basically the muscles of respiration. They assist the respiration. They assist the expiration and they assist the inspiration. Inspiration is active mechanism but expiration is a passive mechanism. It just happens because of passive recoil of the lungs. It means inspiration will require muscles, energy and work done by the muscles but the Inspiration will not need that much energy used by the muscles. It just happens by the elastic requirements of the lungs. But some muscles still assist the expiration. And these are, as I said, there are three groups of intercostal muscles. External intercostal muscles, internal inter intercostal muscles and innermost intercostal muscles. First of all, let's see external intercostal muscles. As you know, the ribs are 12 in the number, so the spaces between the ribs will be 11 in number. So, and that's why the external intercostal muscles, internal intercostal muscles, and innermost intercostal muscles all are 11 in number. They assist breathing. They are accessory respiratory muscles. They are not the main respiratory muscle. Actually, the main respiratory muscle or the main inspiratory muscle is diaphragm. Let me show you. Diaphragm is the main muscle of respiration. It is located below the lungs. When it is in rest, it is dome shaped. But when it contracts, it becomes flattened. And with its contraction, the chest cavity enlarges. Diaphragm is contracting and enlarging the chest cavity and enlarging the lung volume and creating a negative pressure that results in air coming in in the lungs means inspiration. Okay, we will learn about the diaphragm in detail in the video that is totally dedicated to the diaphragm. First, let's see external intercostal muscles. So, in three groups of intercostal muscles, they make the upper wall of intercostal muscles. As I said, there are 11 spaces between the ribs and so the, all the groups of intercostal muscles are 11 in number. As the name suggests, intercostal muscles means muscle between two ribs so they are really the muscles between two ribs here the rib leaves the vertebra and throughout the length the muscle is running the superficial layer of the intercostal muscle is running but this is this space is free means where the bone of the rib will meet the cartilage before that articulation, the intercostal muscle, the superficial layer of the intercostal muscle will end. The fibers are running inferiorly and anteriorly, anterior inferiorly because the origin of the muscle is inferior border of the rib and the insertion of the muscle is superior border of the rib immediately below. So the origin of muscle is from above and it is running anteriorly and inferiorly and inserting the superior border of the rib immediately below. And what is their action? The action of the superior layer of the intercostal muscle or external intercostal muscle is the, to elevate the rib during the forced inspiration. The action of the inspiration is done by the diaphragm but, but it is when we are inspiring normally but when we inspire by force then these muscles, external intercostal muscles, assist the forced inspiration. Let me show you how. These are external intercostal muscles and they elevate the ribs while we are inspiring forcefully. Now come to the internal intercostal muscles. They are located between external intercostal muscles and innermost intercostal muscles. They run in the opposite direction of the external intercostal muscles. See. They, uh, these are running in this direction and these are running in this direction. So these fill up those spaces which were left by the external intercostal muscles and these run in the opposite direction of external intercostal muscles. Their origin is the coastal groove of the rib and the insertion is the superior border of the rib immediately below. And their action is depress the rib during force expiration. Their action is totally opposite to the external intercostal muscles. 
they depress the rib during post expiration what was external intercostal muscle doing it was doing elevation of the rib during post inspiration and they are depressing the ribs during post expiration let me show you how this is the action of internal intercostal muscle and innermost inner intercostal muscles also have the same action the most intercostal muscles make the deepest layer of the intercostal muscles they are located deep to the internal and external intercostal muscles they are same 11 in number and their origin is same as the internal intercostal muscles means they are originating from the groove of the rib and inserting into, into the superior border of the rib immediately below and they have the same action uh, like internal intercostal muscles so this was all for today we will see diaphragm in the next video till then khuda hafiz